Shanti, good morning from Perth and good afternoon on the East Coast. We want to welcome you to the cooking show, Vegetarian, for a healthy mind and body. This morning we're going to start with some juicing and also a little bit of explanation of why juicing and it's something we do first thing in the morning. So very good for the body and as we know that uh, when we're putting good things in the body, then it doesn't have to work so hard to digest things. And so it means I have a bit of a lighter mind. And as our uh, lifestyle is leaning towards a meditative lifestyle, it's good to have a light mind for meditation. So we're gonna start this morning with a green juice. And, and this is how we start our day. And one of the reasons for this is well, a few of the reasons for this actually Pranita is going to explain so why a green juice early in the morning Pranita yeah. <laughs> I, I want a coffee or tea that's what I have start, I used to start my day but then I used to get energy for for a while and then again I want a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something and you know I mean it used to be like you know I was depending on that and I used to have, you know, more in uh, how my health was bad. Like I was meditating a long time, but physically I was always, you know, bad health. And then I used to think, I'm, I'm doing so much meditation, but why my physical body is so sick? What, what, what should I do to do that? I tried everything in the world for my migraine headaches, but I managed with meditation a lot. And it's a long story, but... Uh, I found something which is natural and because I tried everything then I thought okay let me try this as well and then I found the body and mind you know like we talk about the soul so soul introduction we know about what is soul is mind intellect and sanskars and body is made of five elements and uh, because I'm from Indian background so I heard about uh, Ayurveda as well, we call it a kapha, pitta, vata or um, balance in the body of five elements. So what are these five elements? And then I started doing it like a research, what these five elements mean. So five elements are these. First is the sky, air, fire, water and earth. So now we have to remember these five elements in this manner first is sky why because it is unlimited and it's the lightest element second is air which is heavier than sky and limited after some some of the height you don't have any air in then fire then water is 70 percent water on the earth and earth is the the heaviest element and the tiniest the smallest element so our body is made of these five elements and when there is imbalance in these five elements we get body sicknesses so you can call them anything from right from the cancer or diabetes or whatever you name it any disease in the body is imbalance of five elements and these imbalance of five elements lead to my mind how, how many thoughts I create in my body, what kind of food I eat and what kind of combination of these five elements I put in my body. So that's how I find in the morning whenever I break my fast, I should break my fast with the air element. First element is the sky. I will explain it later in, in, in another session or in the next part. First, we break the fast with air element, which is green. So we're going to start with the uh, juice first and then explain you all the things later, why these combinations we are using to break our fast. Mm -hmm. So over to Maureen now. Okay, so in front of me, I have a bowl of green leaves 
and I've actually washed these green leaves but they have been soaking in water and a little sprinkle of baking soda for about an hour and a half and one of the reasons for that is because not everything's organic and if we use this bicarb of soda in the water to wash the leaves then it gets off all the pesticides and all the little things that it might have picked up in the dirt and the shop along the way mm. yeah, and, the yeah and, and it's very inexpensive and it goes a long way yeah. and after that then we wash the, the leaves so now I've actually got them just sitting they've been strained and washed and for today's juice we're going to use bok choy yeah. kale spinach leaves celery leaves there's a little piece of ginger and of course a lemon and, and we're very lucky because we have someone here who gives us lemons off their tree so we're using organic lemons but uh, if you have to buy them from the shop uh, you'll find the skins are a lot thicker and the seeds are a lot bigger so you might have to dig out the seeds because uh, as Pranita mentioned to me they're very bitter mm. now we have a super duper juicer that uh, breaks down a lot of things so Although we, use, I actually didn't mention, we also use apples, and uh, it green does green apple more than a one. green apple. Yeah. Everything is green, yeah, yeah? because it's air. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the green apple is a fruit, but it gives you some taste. Because yes. uh, no, initially we don't like the taste of uh, bitter green. Yeah, anything. So we just put add for the taste. Yeah, but it's sweet. And it's not sweet, it's sour, so it's like a tangy taste. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So they always say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> so per person is an apple. So usually if it's me and Pranita having juice together, we put two green apples. And also at the end, because it is concentrated, we add some water yeah. to break the concentration. Because the body's not used to this, so you it's a little bit harsh at the beginning, so don't put a concentrated green juice in. Always add some water at the end. And this mm. uh, um, juicer is called a cold press. Like there are two types of uh, juicers. Now centrifugal, which is they, they make juice very fast. Like as soon as you put inside, everything comes, the juice comes very fast. So what happens in that process, uh, we are killing all the good enzyme, good things in the juices. So this cold press, it goes very slowly. It makes a little bit noise, but it's worth because it impacts all the enzyme and we get maximum benefit what we are using. One more thing, all the things we are using with the skin because all the fruits, vegetables, most of the vitamins and enzymes, they are in the skin. So lemon also, we just take the little bit seeds out because they are bitter and we put with the skin because skin contains 95 percent of nutrition on the any fruit or any vegetables and what we usually do we give the compost to the garbage <laughs> to give the, the good things, things to the things compost, to the compost. <laughs> and, and bad thing in our at our stomach so that our stomach become compost bin and our garden become more <laughs> healthy and healthy yeah. so 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 i'm just going to now start juicing. Uh, a few people have asked us before what kind of a juicer we use. This is a, a little bit of a expensive juicer. It's called a Kuvang juicer. As Parita mentioned, it's a cold press and it's slow. Works very slowly and very interesting way it works. So I'm going to turn it on. It will make a little bit of noise, but that's what happens when we do things. So I'll start off with an apple. It has a little gadget here which you can open to put the apple in and the juicer will grab the apple mm -hmm. and crush it out. I'll sneak mm -hmm. through just a little bit. Yeah. What would that look It just needs to work a little bit first before it breaks down the apple. Maybe you can have Now that's grabbed it. <laughs> And you don't 
don't have to put everything in at once, you can take your time. Here's a piece of ginger to go in. That's also a very good karma for the stomach. Because sometimes, you know, you use it when you're traveling, it calms your stomach down. So if you're not feeling so great, ginger is also very good. Have a ginger and lemon drink. If you don't feel like you might be able to have juice in them, it's very good for you. And we use all the leaves, so you can use celery leaves, beetroot leaves, any edible leaves, and which is available in that season. So see, uh, original, regional, and seasonal is very important. So anything you are using right. in your country, in your farm, whatever, grow there and plant. And this is cheap. When the things are in the seasonal things, they are cheap in the market. So go into the market, whatever, whatever is cheap, grows in your country, in your region, take that one. Uh, spinach is available all the time. As you can see, we cut the apple. If the apples are small, this juicer will take it, but I'm just putting on the safe side. I cut them. And then the celery leaves are very good. Uh, good for kidney. So now why we are using this? This is alkaline, which is natural. So when we sleep in the, in the night, we had eaten food. And when we go to the toilet, so we don't eliminate all the things from our body. So there are some certain things, they are fermenting in our body and making a gas and acid in the body. So what this juice does, this is alkaline. So this is balancing our acid in our body. So early morning, I'm giving this alkaline juice to balance acid in my body. And it, it cools down, like, you, know, you, you can feel it, like how refreshing you feel it. What happens when we are eating anything which is natural, it takes 20% of our energy for digestion and 80% energy. On the contrary, if I am eating uh, cooked food for breakfast, bread, butter, or parathas and anything, at that time what happens is the heavy food. So when I eat that heavy food, 80% energy goes to digest my food. And 20% energy I have for the rest of the day. And then again I have lunch. Then again I have dinner. So how I'm at the end of the day I am in minus. So body is working only to digest the food. And it's not digesting properly as well. Because what happens we are a combination. So how many things we are using at a time morning when we cook. Usually about five or six. Yeah. And then we have the spices. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the oil, butter, carbohydrate, protein. And we think everything if I have, I will be healthy. Mm. But they are good things. They are not bad things. But the way we are using and the cam combinations we are using. Mm. So do did you find any difference when since you started this? Yeah, well, I've been doing this now for about six months. So I call it raw till four. <laughs> That's the easiest way to explain it. So juice in the morning, a green juice, and then later we'll show you, we do a, a car, celery, carrot, beetroot, and apple mm -hmm. with a little bit of ginger and lemon again, juice, and that gives the body a little bit more energy, mm -hmm. but it's also alkaline because it's all raw. Mm -hmm. And then if you're feeling hungry, maybe about 12, 1 or something like that, we have a smoothie, but we use a fruit smoothie. And we use coconut milk or can you use so soy milk if you prefer. Some people like almond milk, but mm. stay away from the dairy mm. because the dairy is a protein. Mm. So it's not very good for the body. Mm. It won't break down things. So a banana smoothie I like with a little bit of coconut milk or some soy milk. And sometimes we have some other leftover fruit. Mm. So if there's strawberries left over or blueberries, can add them as well. Mm. So it's an excellent way to use up all the little bits and pieces that we often have lying in yeah. the fridge. Yeah. And uh, we have a vitamizer. We're very lucky, or a Nutribullet, we call it. So we just Nutribullet it up and, mm. and have that smoothie. And anything with a little bit of that kind of milk in it, it's quite filling. Mm. So you can often get through till 2.30 or 3. And, and then you might start feeling a bit hungry. But then you can always have something raw. 
some celery mm. or some fruit pieces or something. And I think today, Pranita's going to show some watermelon, do some watermelon mm. juice. <laughs> because in Perth, we're having a heat wave, so, you know, 38, 40 degrees. So you want, we want refreshing things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then go. So uh, it, that's very useful. And uh, Pranita, I think, mentioned all the kind of leaves we can use in the green juice. Yeah. yeah. And instead of sometimes, Maureen, we don't have time to make um, uh, green juice, no? no? So what we do, uh, if you, okay, I don't want green juice today. So I just take lemon water because lemon is alkaline. So how to make lemon water, I'll show you. This is water. And just make some slices of lemon like this with the peel and if you have cucumber because it's uh, summer now you might have cucumber available or strawberry anything which is citrus you can put into the, your water keep it overnight or five six hours and take this juice sip sip but that's how instead of green juice you can have lemon it's called uh, alkaline infusion water so you can make like that or you can have coconut, you know, coconut water available everywhere. So you can just go to supermarket and get coconut water. Too. So which is alkaline, anything alkaline, start your day with that. Some people take uh, apple cider vinegar as well. But uh, in the beginning, it's good. But green juice is the best one. But these are the options as well available. And mm -hmm. more in, when I used to work, uh, I used to carry green juice because green juice doesn't ferment so you make this juice and keep in the glass bottle not into the plastic bottle because you know again the chemical reaction with uh, plastic so good into the glass bottle keep in the fridge in now in the summer you can keep in the fridge in winter i even didn't keep in the fridge i just drink it as it is and carry it into your work now people say oh it's too much work early in the morning but then I used to tell them, uh, it is good investment, 10 minutes in the morning. If I invest for my health, I will save two hours to go to the doctor, waiting in the queue, taking that medita medication, paying him that heavy fees and all those things and taking all these chemicals in my body and which is temporary and this is permanent. So I don't mind spending 15 minutes for me in the morning for my good health do you, do you think it is expensive no it's not expensive at all and also i sometimes when i'm busy i soak in the night before mm -hmm. so in the morning just have to rinse off and do the juice it's done in 10 or 15 minutes that's the time we would take to prepare something for breakfast so yeah it's a time's not a problem really yeah and uh you feel good to yeah. sit down and have the green juice and you don't have to think about washing the pots, only the juicer. And this juicer can go into the washing, uh, sorry, uh, dishwasher as well. <laughs> and um, it's easy, uh, even you don't need soap to use this, just only water rinse. And sometimes when I used to work, I didn't have time. I just soak the whole juicer into the water, go to work, come back and then wash it. Yeah. <laughs> so there are many yuktis how you can use all those um, gadgets. Yeah. And it, in the daytime, we don't cook at all. So I'm so relieved. I don't have to think about what I'm cooking for breakfast, what I'm cooking for lunch and taking to work, or when I come back, what I'm going to cook. So life made easy. And more than that, what is what is your benefit in your meditation morning? Well, don't, my mind's a lot lighter. And I can sit quiet, more quiet. And also, I don't get hungry. <laughs> Not thinking. Um, and, and in the night time, uh, we do have a cooked meal, but I find I I'm eating less and less. Mm -hmm. And less and less heavy food mm -hmm. as well. And you feel lighter? Yeah, I feel much better. Mm -hmm. And have dropped a little bit of weight. Not a lot. I'd mm -hmm. like to drop a bit more. But just that little bit of excess losing is really helpful as well. So... And it's not intentional losing. Huh. It's it's a a, a side effect. <laughs> For yeah. me, um, what happened first first thing happened in my case is I stopped all my medication. I used to take ten Panadols a day. No one would believe it, but I used to. Plus my migraine things, 
plus Ayurvedic, homeopathy, whatever you say, I would try that. And nothing helped me. But since I did this, I can literally see that pain, one thing is pain gone and my mind is so stable. I can see my own thoughts, which is in meditation we teach. Watch your thoughts. Before my all energy is going to my pain. And so whatever I was eating, not digesting, plus the chemical in body. So my skin was a little bit dry, but now I can see my skin is getting better. And most of the thing I can watch my thinking and my feeling, which is the meditation base is what you're feeling. So I can watch my feeling before I had just pain, pain feeling. But now I can watch, okay, what is, what is the meditation says? Uh, watch your coolness. So I can feel that coolness in my body. Before I was just logically thinking, okay, I'm thinking positively, but I wasn't feeling positive. So that is the biggest, uh, what you can say, uh, aha moment for me that I can feel, I can feel which is meditation Keep commentary is always to feel that uh, happiness. So I'm feeling the happiness and my thinking and feeling is matching now. Before I was thinking positively, but my uh, feelings was negative. So now I can match it. And as soon as I go, my thoughts are going somewhere here, I can bring them back. I can concentrate more. And physically, I'm very, not that strong, I can say, but light. So mm. that's my take on that uh, meditation part of it. Yeah, and I, did, I didn't mention actually that for most of my life, I've suffered from psoriasis. So anyone who's known me for a long time would always see me scratching my head or scratching my ears because of my scalp and mm. ears and, you know, body was covered in psoriasis, actually. Mm. But um, since I've been juicing, so it was, I think we started in April when the lockdown started. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more. It's gone. And I can even use a normal shampoo now. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go and buy the expensive shampoos yeah. <laughs> because it's gone from my scalp, you know. And... Uh, so there are some really good health benefits. Yeah. And mm. I found like yeah. whenever I used to sit in meditation, because there was so much acid and gas in my body, I couldn't sit cross-legged. Yeah. Mm. I just like half an hour, I'm just over of it. One thing is I couldn't concentrate. Second thing, my body is like, you know, I have to change my legs and sit here or try this cushion, try that chair. But it's not about chair and the cushion, it's body. Yeah, <laughs> and that body is not making me to concentrate yeah. through my mind. So I could sit now without like, you know, moving or doesn't matter what chair I'm sitting, doesn't matter what cushion is that. Now this cushion is good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Meditation was like, I was always okay to concentrate in meditation, but I found if I got a little bit angry or something, took me a long time to calm down but now I find I don't get as hit up and as tense and as anxious as what I used to do so that's that's one of the benefits as well and uh, so I'm going to finish with this juice now and then we'll come back to you with the second part of the show okay so now we've completed the green juice and we've poured it into the glasses and it's ready to drink and just for your information I've also completed the second juice that we usually drink as well and, in, and for a very practical reason it's good while the juice is dirty to do the second juice. So in that second juice I have put a red apple, not a green apple, a red apple, carrot, beetroot, celery, another little piece of ginger and another lemon. So Maureen, how much is for this is you and me usually drink two people. So how much carrot you put in? So usually for two people, one and a half carrots each. Oh, so three so carrots, carrots. Mm -hmm. and uh, two red apples, one lemon, uh, about four sticks of celery. Usually they're about that long. So break them in half, comes to eight. The, a piece of ginger because you know ginger is really expensive so don't be extravagant with it mm. also it's quite strong and mm. just one beet one medium to small size beetroot you don't need a lot because beetroot's also a cleanser so don't go overdosing on beetroot either mm. 
So and the beauty of this thing, more in what I found is, hmm. um, you don't have to drink like too much or too little. Uh, my body tells me how much I need. Do you have that experience? Like, or you were oh, okay, I saw it look so fresh. I can drink four glasses, but uh, uh -huh. I can't. Usually one, one to one and a half maximum I drink. Mm. Don't need any more. Mm. And also added to this juice is some water. Just remember to add some water. There's two things that happen. It makes everything go through the juicer and also dilutes it a bit because remember everything's fresh mm. and uh, concentrate. Mm. So I just need to dilute just a little bit. But my mm. question is there is a lot of... Um, things coming out here in this part this is juice and this is the residual so what do you do with this Mori? well pranita showed me lots of tricks to do with this so i would have been a bit lazy and just thrown it out but um, pranita showed me lots of things and one is the water that we wash the veggies in the soda water what we do is we tip this into the soda water and uh <clears throat> wash all the make, wash all the leftover residue of the juicer in the soda water as well, and then that actually goes onto the garden. Yeah, it makes a very good compost. And uh, Pranita, you found another good way. Yeah, one this. of our uh, students here, so Sister Sunita, she's very adventurous, very creative. So what she does, she take this one, put it into the bucket, and she put her feet into that. So she calls it a food spa and she got very good benefit out of it. <laughs> so there is a beauty tip as well. So if you are adventurous, take this pill, this one, and put on your face. It's a face pack, free. Like just put it for, just take this and rub on your face and put for five minutes and wash it. You'll get a glow on your face without going to beauty parlor. <laughs> and if you are meditating, just put your feet in the bucket and meditate. Yeah, sit out in the sun. sun. <laughs> yeah, you get vitamin D and this one. And one or more thing you can do, you can boil this and make a vegetable stock. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so in the evening when we uh, do our cooking, you can use that for your stock. Then so nothing goes waste in the nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, on the contrary, if I cook all those things, what I get? A lot of utensils to clean, a lot of soap I have to use, gas, electricity, and my effort. And after that also, I don't feel like eating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, such a wonderful nature. I'm really enjoying. This goes into the compost now because I put my hands in so I can't make a stock now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Yeah, so everything is useful. So now... Next part, I'm going to show you how to drink the juice because, you know, everything is a system. How to do the things. We are doing everything in uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. That's why we have hurry, worry and curry. <laughs> so we are free from curry. <laughs> we don't worry and hurry. And, hurry <laughs> and even not hurry. So first thing, take your glass. Put some good wishes into that. Good positive thoughts into that. Thanks to the nature, mother nature, and sit down. Never drink anything, even water, no, not into the, uh, like a standing position. You have to sit down. Take one sip in your mouth. What I'm doing, I'm mixing my saliva into the juice. So, I'm, I have to sit down now. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> sit down, sit properly, straight, your back straight. So, when I drink, first thing is the tongue and mouth, saliva. So, mouth is making saliva and that's the first thing of digestion. So, mix with the water. So, they say, drink your food and chew your water. So, I'm chewing the water, juice. And then swallow it slowly. So never drink like this. Put down your head. And take the head out. Then it goes. And you can feel that coolness in your body. 
how that energy is going in my body and making my body alkaline and acid balance. So this is the trick to drink. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On appetit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and the red juice, the same thing. So, uh, so the thing is now there are certain timings how to drink on that certain time when we are going to drink green juice when we are going to drink red juice when the smoothies so i'll draw some figures here and then i can show you so now we're back on the show and uh we had our green juice so we're feeling quite revived uh one there's a few things we'd like to mention one is we're not experts or dietitians or uh clinical psychologists or anything like that but we just experimented and Pranita did a lot of research and it seemed to work and so I just followed what Pranita had researched and most of it works for me and so I'm enjoying it as well and Pranita draws up a very good diagram of when is a good time to be alkaline and when's a good time to Put acid in the body and when's a good time to fast and this is what we do and i'm not saying everyone has to do it but it's very very helpful mm -hmm. so pranita would you like to go through this diagram for us yes yeah uh, this is a uh, what i found it's every culture or every religion or wherever you go a diet is always balanced with alkaline and acid but eventually we lost everything in Ayurveda, we call it Sato Rajottamo. Any, anything in the world goes through three stages. New, middle and the end. So, in Ayurveda, we call it our food should be Sato food. If I am a meditator, my food should be Sato. Means in science, it's called alkaline, which is natural. Sato, sato means alkaline. Rajo means balance of, uh, means more acidic and less uh, alkaline. And Tamo means all acidic food. So what science and spirituality is saying, have balance in everything. That's what my finding in this whole process is. Uh, people say, oh, you are a meditator, you can do it. Or science doesn't say, but I read all those things as well. There are many good books I can recommend. You can read them. I can put their list in, on my board here. And they are free on the uh, internet. Just go and uh, read them. Or I can send you through the email and all. So Sato is alkaline and Tamo is acidic. So balance of both I have here. And balance of five elements. So when we wake up in the morning, what we, for example, six o'clock, I wake up. I go to toilet, have shower, and I'm ready to go to work. Now, this period, eight hours, first eight hours in the day, is called fasting period. Every religion, every culture has this fasting period. We never had any breakfast system. Morin, do you know when you started breakfast? In your childhood, you had anything? No, I used to start every day with an orange juice, I can remember. Yeah. 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 So breakfast, all these kellogs and eggs and bacon and parathas and these and that, all is a commercial thing, marketing thing is started in the world. So that's a different topic of it. But first is fasting. So what fasting means? Fasting is when we get up early in the morning, our body organs start cleansing itself. So, when I'm not, fasting means, fasting means nothing in the body, not even the water. So, first element we are eating means, how could I eat sky? I can't eat sky. So, that means emptiness. Sky means emptiness. So, if I keep my body, no disturbance. So, this ancient time in a large organ in the body. So, it, it needs a rest and that time it's a healing process. Body start healing. So this is body what is doing? Dead bacteria, bad bacteria, dead tissues in the body, dead cells in the body and undigested food. Because as I said, we combine all the starch, protein, carbohydrate, milk, 
tea, coffee, ice cream, everything we eat. And the body is started fermenting all those things, nothing digested properly. So, body is eating itself. It, the word called autophagy. If you can Google this word, this is a fasting period. F-U-G-Y. F-A-G-Y. Autophagy. Autophagy means it eat itself. So, body start eating itself. So, whatever is there, body start eating that one and it started healing process. So, if I eat heavy food in the morning, what I'm doing? I'm disturbing it. So, maximum 8 hours, 6 to 8 hours, but you don't have to be fanatic. First day, I'm jumping for 8 hours. No, what I did, what me and Maureen also do, we get up 4 o'clock in the morning. So, we break our fast 9 or 11, depends. If Maureen is going for her class, she has at 9 o'clock. If I'm at home, I drink at 11 o'clock. So, depends what you're doing. But slowly increase your fast until 8 hours in a day. So if you are doing, getting it 6 o'clock till 12. But first day, like first week, drink for green juice first. Even if you are drinking chai in the morning or coffee in the morning, before that, drink your green juice. What happens now? We There are bacteria, they grow into the acid. So why I crave for the coffee or tea or I was craving for all the time for rice. I was addicted to rice. And if I don't eat rice, I used to feel like I'm, I'm, I didn't eat anything. So that bacteria gives me the craving of chocolate, tea, coffee. So the more I eat, I want it more. Hmm? Have you seen that you had a little bit chocolate and you ended up eating the whole bar? Yeah. So who is eating? I'm not eating. It's all the bacteria. They want that food and that's called addiction. And that time, what I'm doing, I'm killing those bacteria with alkaline things, which is not their food. So bacteria do not grow in alkaline body. So any disease does not grow in alkaline body. Where there is acid, there is bacteria. And there are like good bacteria and bad bacteria, but in our body, now there are bad bacteria more. And where there is fermentation, there is acid and gas. So first thing when I drink this green juice, my body is becoming alkaline. So I don't crave, after one week, you don't crave for tea or coffee. So many people told me that. Maybe it takes one, one, one month, two months, depends how much addicted you are. And then slowly increase your fasting period. One, one day I started 8 o'clock drinking my juice. And after that, whenever I feel hungry, I grab anything. A carrot, a tomato, a cucumber. So now again, there is a body mechanism. When we have 30 toothpick, so they say chew your food properly. So when I chew it, if I take a carrot, I have to chew it. So when I chew, their message goes to my brain and brain says stop it. So raw food, you can't eat excess because we have to chew and the message goes to the brain and stop eating and then digestion starts. I get instant energy from that raw food. But if I have a cake, can I stop at one, only one piece? No, because cake is soft and full of sugar. And the bacteria wants it more. I'm not chewing the cake. So I can eat four, four pieces at a time. And still I'm hungry. After half an hour I still need food. But if I eat carrot, I will be. Because my brain is giving message to the digestion system. But when I eat cake, I don't get any brain any message to my brain to stop eating. So that's how we excess eating start. And then... After that, if I feel hungry, I can drink lemon juice, uh, any juice or any fruit or any vegetable. But everything should be raw. In the beginning, you, you might not feel it right, but keep going. And then if you feel hungry, 
Now the second element, we have sky element as fasting, air element, green juice which is cleansing period. Now our after 12 o'clock, our cleansing period starts. So here what you can do, you can eat fruits which is fire element. So now we need energy. We have fasting, healing process, we have cleansing process. Now we need some energy. So where do I get energy from? From the fire. So you can, you can eat banana, whatever fruit available. Now it's summer in Australia. So you can have a lot of mangoes or watermelon or honeydew or rock melon. Any, anything which is raw can eat that. And then how do I get water element from? So we have just shown you the juice, green juice, or oh sorry, red juice. Beetroot, which is any root under the ground is called water element. So carrot, beetroot, red apple, we put for the taste, celery. So anything which is underground. So that gives us water element. And this, this period, now you can have fruits and then red juice or you can have red juice first and then smoothie, doesn't matter. And after that, at the end, after sunset, usually after sunset, we can have digestion period, which is the heaviest element is earth and which is grain. We need that yeast in our body. But what we do exactly opposite, we take earth element which is the smallest element we take too much in our body so this period now i'm eating 70 percent of vegetables and 30 percent of grain so morin how do you do that 70 percent uh, what do you do for well, your often i would make a stir fry a few vegetables mm -hmm. and stir fry them and then have um, some rice noodles Oh, that's yeah. it. And yeah. before that also you eat a lot of uh, salad. Oh yeah, we have a green salad at, in the night because Pranita did some research and it's good if you ha have a green salad because that helps the digestion start working again. Mm. Same reason why the juice, green mm. juice works the same. So little, I usually just have a few spinach leaves, some snow peas, a little bit of cucumber mm. and that green salad it's my opener because I have that now. I don't really feel like eating a lot of cooked food. <laughs> you have less, less yeah. cooked food. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of vegetables first in the raw form and then a little bit stir fry and all. And if you want to eat grain, again have a one tip: eat one grain at a time. If you are eating wheat, for example, bread or roti, so eat that only. Do not mix with the starch, rice, or protein. So what I do usually, uh, if I want to eat, I just have a quinoa and I put a little bit rice in it. So 90% quinoa and stir fry vegetables or something like kichari or something, but less grain. And because we eat a lot of salad before, we don't have that much space to eat the cooked food. <laughs> yeah. So that is a trick too. And, uh, and that gives me a lot of energy because now when I eat after meditation and or before meditation we eat and then we go to the bed and because the grain is very heavy, I need rest. So I have to digest that food with the rest. So when I sleep, I get sound sleep. And I, without disturbance, I can sleep for 5-6 hours now before I used to get like many times because of gas and acid, I have to go to toilet a lot of times. Yeah, and so that saving and because it's digestion started and that's a good rest and good blood circulation to my brain to have that sound sleep, which after many, many, many years I experienced that sleep. And when I get up early in the morning for meditation, I'm fresh before I used to just know I have to get up but now I'm enthusiastic to go okay I'm waking up with happiness with of body and mind and which is my connection with the supreme is getting more powerful <laughs> before I was thinking but now I'm feeling so that's my take on this one so this is the end of our session 
And now we're going to go to a question and answer session. So if any of you have got any questions and answers, then add them to the chat box and we'll answer your questions for you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shanti. Thank you. See you mm. soon. <laughs>
but if i am drinking green juice i need only 20% energy for digesting this and i get 80% energy for work for the brain so my body is light so my body is focusing on digestion for only 20% and lot of energy i am getting on the contrary if i eat heavy food 80% energy going for digestion and 20% only for brain to work and i am foc- i am trying to concentrate on my work so my body is confused whether i give the oxygen to the brain or to the digestion or power to the digestion or brain so now i'm this uh, this when i drink 20% energy going to my stomach and 80% i'm using for whole day and whenever you eat anything raw you need only 20% energy for digestion and whenever we eat anything heavy 80% is going to for digestion okay great thank you very much i've got lots of questions but i'll let somebody else ask a, a question in between uh yes that's true everybody is different but five elements our body is made of five elements and when there is imbalance in that five elements we get sick so that's what we are trying to tell people that take one element at a time so first is sky then is air then mm. uh, fire then water and then earth the abs so one element at a time so initially when you start drinking green juice you might get feel sick because it t- taking the toxin out so you might have headache diarrhea or anything mm. the toxin is coming out it takes time to adjust our body because so many years we are doing the same thing yeah. so it's a trick and one thing is our power of mind as well um i noticed that you made two three options of juices but you didn't sieve them did you you just had it in that concentrated a uh, slightly diluted form by adding water so any reason behind that why don't you sieve it no because my juicer is very fine which is called cold press and okay this juice what it does it is all the extract or juice out and the extract is at in a uh, separate container so you don't need to in the beginning we don't need any fiber because already we have so much toxin in our body so if i am adding garbage into garbage it becomes garbage okay so now to clean all this intense time clean all this uh, toxicity uh, from body we need only juice like a, it's a plumbing if you know if you can just cho- your basin is choked what you do you stop all work and you just put some water in to take all this rubbish out so we are exactly right. our body is a machine is a mm-hmm. mixture so we are cleaning this with the juice green juice and it's a lifestyle it's not a diet or it's not a waste lot program or it is not a like a disease free program but if i change my lifestyle mm-hmm. i automatically balancing five elements and that five elements affecting my mind so this a lot of benefit it and it said yogi should be light so now i can really feel my body is light and ultimately my mind becomes light wow thank you sister anyone has any question so uh, i just wanted to ask you along with diet and healthy cooking is it important to also do some exercise because i know to digest your food i mean my belief is you should exercise but what do you have to say about that yeah you can do exercise but for what i would suggest what i did uh, for 3 months just do this one and give a body some time to remove toxin from your body because it's a healing time now and once you settle after 3 months you clean your body and then you can start doing exercise but we get a lot of energy we can do a lot of walking cycling but rigorous exercise unless and until you want to make up muscles and all you can do it but now i get i do pranayam walking uh now it's summer so i'm not doing much walking but i'm doing some prana i am to make my blood alkaline now so i'm making my body alkaline first and then uh, through the prana i am i'm making my blood alkaline which is the yogi life uh, ultimate goal is to make your body alkaline shital we call in hindi yogis uh, body would be shital her the thinking would be cool and uh, everything should be cool so which i'm experiencing now So that's why I'm not doing exercise but you can still do my exercise. 
And Maureen, I know you used to be, uh, you know, very interested in exercise and working out and stuff. And do you find that having juice and, you know, a lighter diet has helped with that or taken your energy away? Or what would you say about that? Well, I'm probably the reverse factor of Anita because I've always exercised. So even when I did this juice, I still kept up my exercise classes and everything. I just found it was easier to do. I stayed and I just kept maintained my fitness. But um, Pranita was actually curing a, a very, uh, you know, her migraines. She was actually looking after a serious health issue. I only had sort of minor health issues. So I just found I love feeling light in the morning. So juice was easy. Otherwise, I would just have two apples and go. Yeah. <laughs> but this way, I just had some juice and, and went. So I was already used to being light mm. and I kept up my exercise. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's like, you know, uh, no matter how much I'm exercising, but, again, what is my input? I'm just cleaning, like, this uh, this container. I made a juice, and I'm just washing from outside. My exercise is, like, I'm just washing from outside, but what about inside? Inside is all dirt, and I keep putting more and more and more, and I'm cleaning from outside. So what is my, but this thing is what, what you take from your body first and then put the good thing because our body is addicted to the acidic food and bad food. Body doesn't know good food. So my body knows the what is good food now. So my body doesn't take any bad food. So now I'm addicted to good food <laughs> and natural food, which is I don't have to think about my lunch. I don't have to think about my breakfast, what I'm going to cook. We don't even lit up our gas in the, in the, like, in the daytime until the sun is there, no, no gas open. Only in the evening, we do some light cooking, that too. That too, we okay. do one, yeah, one grain at a time. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hello, Renita Ben, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I did have a question. I noticed that during the video, you did talk about watermelon juice. And I was wondering what the ingredients are for that juice. Uh, but the green, uh, watermelon juice, it, so just cut a watermelon and make a juice with the skin because the skin holds a lot of um, nutritional value in the skin. What we do, we just eat the red part and we throw the green and white part. But the main fruit is the green and white part. So make that juice with the skin. Ah, okay. So if you take, because cucumber is very acidic, so yeah. you have to alkaline it. So you, yeah. you can alkaline with uh, tomato and cucumber. Two cucumber, one tomato, and one uh, bitter melon. If you juice them, stay like in a sieve them, and then drink it. But not too much because it's very... Yeah. So you have to take it a little bit and add water and then drink it. It yes. takes remove the acidity, but with the alkaline fruits, vegetable, uh, vegetables, cucumber and tomato. An empty stomach, not with the food. All this the thing is one thing at a time. That's what we are doing. One element at a time to the body. Recently, I heard, I came to know that watermelon seeds are very high highest zinc element in it exactly. and zinc you don't get so much in vegetarian diet or any vegan diet so that's great you know the seed even though nowadays we get seedless yeah. actually seed is good <laughs> I, I used to eat that seed in the childhood um sister i have one more question actually I noticed that you were using a lot of ginger and lemon mostly in all the juices that you recommended they had ginger and lemon so is there any specific reason behind using them yeah ginger is very anti-inflammatory anti so it's a natural painkiller so if you have any problem you can you know like slowly slowly it, it works in a like in your blood it removes all that pain from the toxic from the blood and lemon is vitamin c our body doesn't store vitamin c so we have to take Every day that vitamin C for our immune system, especially in the cold and with the skin because skin holds a lot of uh, nutritional values. So that's why lemon in every juice we put, if one thing is for taste, second thing is vitamin C we don't spare and store and third thing is ginger is anti-inflammatory. Anti 
but in the natural form if you cook it it becomes acid so you notice if you um buy travel sickness pills or uh, calm pills that means mm-hmm. got ginger in them they call ginger the calmer the calm oh. yeah wow thank you Little, um, to it all. Yeah. Though we are not like certified or anything or in or like you know we're not giving any advice. This is our own experience and bit of research and you know what I learned in childhood. But we refuse refuse to do it because ah oh, that's old thing. I want to be modern. And and one thing is we want to depend on. So I was depending on the doctors. I don't want to change myself, and that's what meditation is teaching. Yes. to change myself if i don't change nothing is going to change and then i realized if i don't change my diet my doctor is not going to help me so <laughs> so this is the thing i research and how, how my body is telling me so i need to now i decide what to eat my body doesn't decide before my body was telling me to do it and that's what we learn in meditation body and soul is separate so if my i i am a slave of my body now i don't sometimes i still get some like you know uh, something to eat but not that craving before i had to used to have, i was addicted to rice if i don't get rice i feel like i'm hungry i am not, not eaten if i eat roti or any other thing bread that was not food for me because my body was only addicted to rice now i don't even remember rice so i just still sometimes i have but i use quinoa instead of rice i use quinoa which is alkaline and rice is acidic again so my body was so acidic and asking more acidic food so now what i am doing instead of giving that rice i give this green juice so all that bad bacteria that addiction is going because i'm killing them giving them wrong food bacteria's wrong food before i was giving bacteria's food so acidic food my body was addicted to acid but now my body is becoming alkaline so i can take decision now the soul is the master of at that so I, my aim is to become like that i can decide what i want to eat not my body is telling me what i i'm craving it now i know the real hunger and not the uh, craving so we are always craving we are not hungry because we are not doing any exercise or we are not doing any hard work physical work and we going to the gym air conditioning gym going into the car go there air conditioner and i'm sweating and the advertisements there are of the food so i am on the cycle i'm doing a lot of uh, exercise there and i'm watching that advertisement my mind is there in the food so i'm taking all the flavor from the food but <laughs> <laughs> and i'm saying oh i, I did and i'm watching by the scale i still there because subtly i'm taking that food so that's meditation is where my mind goes i get energy from there and that's the biggest scam they do in the gym they put there is a cafe the deep fried food so you are doing so much hard work there going out and getting the burger so what's the use so instead of that do this one why you want to pay to the gym go for walk go for cycling no that we can say a lot of petrol so we doing exactly opposite so we are going back to our roots yeah i just feel that um with these juicing you don't waste a lot You know, a lot of vegetables used to get wasted, but now we think, oh, we can put that in the juice, or we can put that in the juice. So we used up a lot of things that maybe before I wouldn't. I personally, I wouldn't have done. Yeah, which I appreciate. Even the recipe can be used as spa or some facial, um, you know, the toner or even compost. Wow, well, that was amazing. <laughs> and everything is useful and after that we throw that on the um, fiber in our garden and then it starts coming yeah oh it is amazing sisters i know our matter yeah I'm using wisely now <laughs> <laughs> true true so ha huh. we are almost about like one hour didn't even realize but such an enlightening episode and got to learn so much i'm sure every one of us is looking forward to the upcoming episode so much more to learn 
Wow. So, thanks a lot sisters. It was oh, really great having you and thanks thank to you, all sister. the participants. <laughs> and thanks to all the participants as well. You thank were so you. Thank you. Okay. And have a great week. Thank to you. all of you. Thank you.